Women have um, more of a problem with heart disease than with breast cancer, right? Absolutely. Dr. Johnson, is it trickier to diagnose a woman? It is trickier, and some of the standard tests we use, such as a standard treadmill test, don't work as well in women. Why? Um, well, it's, it's, not, it's not totally clear. It may be that, for, especially for women with estrogen, that it does something to the electrocardiogram tracing that gives you false positive rates. So there are many women out there, including diabetics, who do need stress tests with what we call imaging or special ways to take pictures of the heart. The other interesting thing is, though, that when you do get a positive test in some of these more sophisticated tests, the, the kind of gold standard catheterization that gives us pictures of the arteries may not work as well in women, given that they have potentially different types of diseases, small vessel disease, or disease that are long, uh, parts in the, of, of long parts in the artery. The good news is that we now have technology that allows us to look inside the artery and to also measure flow so that we can make these diagnoses in women. I'm also told, Dr. Legato, that very often a woman in a doctor's office saying she has a chest pain will be sent home with Pepto-Bismol. Correct. A man will be given an EKG. Correct. Especially Why? because one out of five women, when they're actually even having a heart attack, don't have classic symptoms. I heard you before saying your pain was in the arm and excruciating. Uh, did you have the elephant on your chest too? No. No. Women, one out of five, will have what they think is indigestion, pain in the upper abdomen or back. But the clue is they are intensely nauseated, they hyperventilate, they're very hungry for air, and they have a soaking sweat. And it's a constellation that isn't recognized. We've been working hard at increasing awareness among women. The Heart Truth Campaign, launched by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, is designed around this red dress campaign to increase awareness. We've come a long way, but we've got a long way to go yet. Shouldn't there be awareness among doctors, too? Absolutely. There has been a lot of attention given to breast cancer, as we all know. It, it, it attacks a younger population, uh, and it's true that coronary artery disease is delayed by 10 years in women, and we usually only have an equal vulnerability on, uh, at about the age of 60. We ought to know that, and we ought to know that more women die than men of this illness, and that cardiovascular disease kills more women than all cancers combined. So I think that's a very important thing for women to know.